I'm going to try and do a quick video on the planners I have painted. These are leather or vinyl planners that I have painted with Angelus Leather Paints. I will show you not the painting process, but the results that I've received from painting these particular planners. First up was a test planner. I purchased this planner specifically to try painting it, and I bought gray paint because I thought that the gray would look nice with pink. I think gray and pink are a nice combo. The This planner was very heavily damaged. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can kind of see that. Um, the leather was water damaged. There was a big, huge, oops, water damage stain here. And, you know, painting it covered the stain part, but it hasn't, of course, improved the texture of the leather. And for whatever reason, um, because I had the green and I was worried about painting over it, I used the leather preparer and deglazer. And I don't know if that was a good idea with this planner. I think it may have made things slightly worse because sections of the planner that weren't damaged have a very rough texture to them now. Let's see if you can kind of pick that up. Um, I think that this, using this on the leather and pulling off the green paint mostly and, this, and the surface finish on it, um, roughened up the leather and so it's very unpleasant to touch. It's not smooth. It almost feels like it needs to be sanded. Um, I have actually stripped the gray paint off and redone it thinking maybe it was the brush that I had used. I had used one of those foam brushes and I thought well, maybe it was leaving bits of foam behind. So I'm not happy with how this planner turned out in terms of it didn't improve it any. It didn't make it slightly worse. Um, but in the end it's also got Quite a bit of sheen from the matte finish for whatever reason the gray looks more shiny after it's been covered in the matte but it did give me the opportunity to practice putting on the layers of paint um, and of course working with the very difficult edges that's that's really difficult when you're dealing with a two-tone planner as you're trying not to have the new color bleed too much and of course I did not succeed in all parts but again this was a practice test binder I was hoping they would be useful after the fact but I'm probably not going to carry this maybe it'll be a storage binder and the paints I used on that were originally I painted it in the straight up gray and it came out darker than I wanted it to it just didn't quite look right with the pink so then I mixed gray and white and got this lighter gray here you can kind of see and that's what I used on this particular planner. So that's that one. I tested that planner because the planner I really wanted to paint was this one. This planner was this color to start, maybe a shade more gray blue. Um, it's hard to say because it was quite old and used when I got a hold of it. This planner is a strange story. I bought it once on eBay in very, pretty reasonably damaged condition at the time. Um, the corners you know, had most of their paint rubbed away, and the spine had black marks here and here. And then I went through a period where I thought, I can't use personal, it's too narrow, it's too small, and I sold this planner and I missed it regularly. Every time I thought about it or I saw old pictures that I had of it or saw the videos I had done of it, I thought, why did I sell that planner? I love that planner. So I finally tracked it down two or three owners later and it was up for sale again. And so I purchased it again, and of course over time it had gotten even worse. And so the black marks, which was really the color wearing away, were all up and down the spine, even a little bit over here. Just it, the blue had completely, this is a well-loved planner and it had been completely worn away, and I think the clasp had marks on it. So I really wanted to be able to color match this planner. So I spent a lot of time looking at the colors on the, um, Angelus website to find colors I thought could match it. So here's the blue I picked out. It's called Mellow 2. This is, um, Kate Spade calls this color Bluebell. And it wasn't quite right. It was a little bit too dark. So I added some white and I was able to custom mix this color. You can kind of see there's a little separation there. but So I was able to match and this planner came out beautifully. I had kind of perfected the fact that you needed to put very light layers of paint on and I did it and of course I was color matching so it was a little easier so this put the paint on and then I sealed it with the matte finish 
and I really feel like it's even better than it was when I ever owned it. I have no idea, what, of course, what it looked like new, but it's in really great shape on the exterior now, and it's very pleasant to touch. The matte finish was slightly tacky for maybe three to five days after I did it, um, but now it's completely beautiful, and it just it feels pleasant. You can still see this binder is very worn. You know, the, the tan interiors got some wear marks, some pen marks, etc. but the exterior is in great shape. So I'm very happy with this planner. And I've been in and out of it at least three times since I painted it and still enjoy it. I just sometimes have issues with those 23 millimeter rings. I don't always need the rings that big. So those are the first two I painted. And then I had another pile I was considering painting but had not decided what I was gonna do. So this one here was a cheapie. And when I picked up this planner, the seller was selling this one too for really cheap, so I just threw it in my cart and grabbed it too. And I'm sorry I painted this one. This is one that I'm thinking I should have just left alone. It was originally this tan, and it's not quite of the shuttle leather. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's just there was so much hand oils on it, but I feel like the paint is not bonding to, oops, not bonding to the leather. And then when I put the matte finish on it, I don't know, maybe in a few days it'll be better and I'll like it better, but right now it just doesn't feel right. What was a nice, smooth, almost fashetta leather is now tacky and weird and the paint is almost sitting on the surface of it rather than getting in. So I'm not happy with how this turned out. I'll be curious to see if I like it better in about a week or two. Then I started on this one. This one was navy blue. Oh, this was the leftover blue. I don't know if you can see, but it's slightly darker than this one. So this was that leftover. I had the leftovers in the mellow too, and I thought, ah, oh, blue and tan, like they looked great together in the other one. Let's try it in this one. So this planner was navy blue. This is part of Franklin Covey's collection. It's called the Color Shrunk Binder. And my original plan is, I don't know if you can see, but it's color blocked. But they made it all one color when they stitched, and I thought, oh, it would be really cool to color block this. So I painted this section teal and this section teal, and they're nice and smooth, and it came out beautiful. And I painted this section coral and this section coral. Um, Angelus actually calls this Infrared 2014. It's made to match a specific sneaker model. But I looked at it and thought, ooh, hot coral, and that would look great with the teal, which is what they call blue turquoise. These I did not dilute. These are their straight up out of the bottle colors. The teal came out beautiful. It's very smooth and soft. The coral would not cover the navy. I must have put six layers of paint over it and it was still not covering the navy. And the, this paint has more of a matte finish to it, whereas this has a bit of more of a sheen to it, just naturally. This planner is not sealed yet. And so I started going over this with the teal but I'm getting that same sort of rough thing going on that I got with that gray planner. So I might have to strip this all the way back down to the navy and start over with the teal again because I'm just not liking what it's doing to the leather surface. But only in these two blocks. It's so weird that it's, you know, I think it's just the layers of paint built up. I'm not sure. So this one's going to need some work. This planner itself was in pretty, it wasn't damaged, but it was definitely in rough condition. The corners were losing all their navy here. There were some scratches up here and that are a little rough and I was expecting that even after the paint. So, and then I started to paint the pen loop last night um, because since it's, it's trained to stick out at this point, I figured it needed to be teal too. I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint the card slots and all that. That seems like it's gonna be tricky work and I might not do that. I might leave it teal and navy. I think those two colors look nice together. But the way the Franklin Covey does their planners, they don't have it where the two layers meet here. They wrap it over on the edges, so I'm going to have to paint this edge, and that's going to be tricky work too. So this planner is not done yet, not sealed yet. Um, as you can see, you can still see the navy even bleeding through here, so I'm going to have to go back to the beginning, I think, and strip this all off. Yay. This planner, while I was waiting for that one and it's 8 million layers to dry, I got bored. <laughs> And I still had gray left, remember gray? Yeah, gray. So I still had the mixed light gray that I had used on the other one. I thought, ah, this black, this was a black zip binder from Daytimer that I picked up for really cheap on eBay. And I knew I wanted to cut the 
zipper off because the zipper in the listing it said the zipper was sticking and when I looked the teeth were kind of out of alignment so it was either cut the zipper off or be really annoyed with it. Um, I'm not planning to carry this. This is strictly going to be a storage binder for probably inserts I haven't used yet. I haven't decided or, or maybe used inserts but it has huge one and a half inch rings. They are um, riveted in so if I take them out I'm ruining the binder and maybe I will if I find something else I want to put them in but I'm not a big fan of black and I wanted to see testing testing I wanted to see how the Angelus leather paint did on vinyl because I know it does say that it's compatible with vinyl some sneakers have vinyl on them and it came out really well like so well that I'm not even going to seal it I don't think it needs the sealant I don't know we'll see but it, it seems like it's bonded really well to the pleather where I had some tricky work that I'm going to have to do and I'm not done yet. Um, I only did, I think, one, maybe two layers on here. I think I did three on the outside. Um, you can see where I cut the zipper off here. And there's this black fabric lining that I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with. I may paint it, I may not. Painting this was a little tricky and it transferred a little paint. I'm going to have to see if I can get that off. And then painting the, this edge was tricky because, let's see if you can focus here. The zipper edge sticks out a little, and it's a little fuzzy. It's been shredding a little, even though I cut it as tight as I could to the edge. So I'm not quite happy with how the interior looks, but it needs another coat of paint, so I'm not going to worry about it. Plus, it's just a junk test binder. I'm not, not sweating it. So at this point, let's take a look at the products that I used. I've got the Prepare and Deglazer, which I only used on that first binder. I haven't used it on any of the others. The Matte sealant which i've used on a couple of them the satin i never used the matte was already so shiny compared to what i was looking for that i have not used the satin at all here's that hot coral color called infrared the blue turquoise oops don't roll away the mellow two which i used to restore that one binder and then ruin that other one the light gray and then here's the custom colors I've mixed. This was, um, oh, and here's the white. Um, so there's these three here, the gray and then the white that I mixed in. Ooh, don't roll away. So anyway, here's the paints that I used over time. I don't think I'll buy any more paints or mess with any more binders. I think I'm satisfied with the group I've messed with. But at this point, I think I'm, maybe I'll sell the leftover paints, I'm not sure. I'll probably hang on to this one in case I need to touch up my Bexley because it will probably wear away again. We'll see if the sealant helps or not. So I haven't, the only binder I'm not sure about now is I wasn't planning on this being all turquoise because my all-time favorite binder, this one from Filofax, it's a smooth Napa leather, is also a teal and there is a color difference between the two. So that's at least helpful. This one's got more green tones. This one's got more blue tones. So, so there you have it. Me and my crazy painted binders and messing with stuff. So there's these two that, and this one that I painted yesterday. And then here's the original two that I messed with. This one, which is why I bought all this stuff to begin with. And then this one that I tested first. I do suggest testing. You really do need to figure out um, how light a level of paint to put on. And this binder did allow me to do that before I messed this one up. It's just funny that this is my second binder and this is the one I've been the most pleased with the results on. Um, maybe it's because I was matching color and I wasn't trying to change color, whereas it's quite a bit more work to actually change the color. You have to put a lot more layers of paint on, whereas this I was really just trying to... It wasn't an exact match, but I wasn't drastically changing the color either. So, so there's probably two, maybe three layers of paint on this in a couple of spots, like the corner edges got more because they need to be built up. Whereas this was a complete color change from black, this one from navy, and this one from tan. So there was quite a bit more paint that had to go on to change the finish. But hopefully that answers some questions. There's probably going to be more. If you have any, leave them in the comments. Thanks.